Let's solve the equation x plus 3 all over 2 plus 3 is equal to x minus 1 all over 3. Well, this particular equation is awkward for two reasons. One of them might be obvious and one of them perhaps less obvious. The first reason why it's awkward is because we've got these fractions involved. And, and that is something that uh, many students are quite intimidated by. But also what you should realise is that this is actually an equation which involves brackets as well. Because what you've got, and I'm going to do this in a colour, is x plus 3 is all divided by 2. And the way that's going to be best to work through this example is to say, let's put that x plus 3 all inside a bracket, so it's all being divided by 2. If you put that bracket in, you'll find it far easier to be able to work out the answer. So it actually involves a bracket as well as a fraction, that first, expre that first bit of algebra there. The same thing is true for this over here. We've got all of x minus 1 is being divided by 3. You'll find it far easier to work out if you put that bracket in. So what we've actually got, even though it wasn't immediately obvious, is an equation which involves both fractions, that was obvious, and brackets, which was less obvious. Now the rule of thumb is, if you're trying to solve such an equation, is deal with the fractions first. So, okay, I'm going to get rid of the fractions first. Well, I've got two of the fractions. Well, they're different numbers on the bottom, a 2 and a 3. What I need to do is get both of those numbers to be identical numbers using LCM work. The LCM of 2 and 3 is 6. So what I'm going to do is change both of these, leave the plus 3 alone, that's not a fraction, that's going to stay exactly the same, change both of these bottom lines to the LCM number 6. So how do I go about doing this? Well, this fraction here is over 2 to begin with. To change it into a 6, I need to treble it. To keep the fraction the same, I need to treble the top line as well. In a similar sort of way that a half is the same as two quarters if you double the top and double the bottom. So if I treble the bottom, I get six. So I need to treble the top. Now the top line is all of that bracket. So I need to treble the whole thing. Now, I always suggest you put three outside the bracket. So you get three lots of the bracket. Don't try and be clever and work it out in your head by saying, OK, x plus three, if you treble it, you get three x plus nine. You do, but you're more likely to make a mistake. So all I'm going to do is say, take the bracket and treble it by putting a 3 outside, so you get three lots of the bracket. Later on, we'll expand the bracket out. Not yet. OK, so I've times this by, sorry, I've now changed that to a 2 to a 6. Uh, leave this alone, and I need to change this now, 3 into a 6. I do that by doubling the right-hand side. So double the right-hand side on the bottom, so I double the right-hand side on the top. So the top becomes two lots of x minus 1. So I've doubled the bottom, I double the top. So that is the same as that. Those two fractions are the same. So now I've got an equation with brackets and fractions in, but the, the uh, fractions are both sixes. I can get rid of all those fractions now by simply multiplying everything by 6. So I'm going to times everything by 6. If I times this by 6, I just get the top line which is three lots of the bracket. I've got to times that by six, you get plus 18. Don't forget to times that by six. Equals, I've got to times this by six, you just get two lots of x minus one. The share by six on the bottom disappears. Now you can see we've got an equation and there are no fractions involved. And we've got ourselves an equation with brackets in. Let's get rid of the brackets now then. We do that by expanding out the brackets. 3 times x is 3x, 3 times plus 3 is plus 9, so that is the same as that. Leave the plus 18 unchanged. That does not get multiplied by anything. We've just said 3 times that, 3 times that, so that's the same as that. The plus 18 is exactly the same, unchanged in this line. In the last line we changed it to from plus 3 to plus 18 because we were multiplying everything by 6. So you've just got to be very confident about what is going on so you know that times it by 6 there, but your remains unchanged for this line here. So 3 times x, 3x, 3 times 3 is 9. And that's the same as that. That remains the same. Now expand this. 2 times x is 2x. 2 times minus 1 is minus 2. So we get that. Let's just tidy up things on the left, because the two numbers there, 9 and 18, go together. So you get 3x plus 27 on the left. And 
the right hand side remains unchanged. Looking at that, I've got x's on both sides. I know I can collect x's on the left because there's more 3x's more than 2x. So 3x on the left, take the 2x over, becomes a minus 2x on the left. Swap sides, swap signs. And then the numbers, the minus 2 stays put, doesn't swap sign. And the plus 27, take it to the other side, makes it a minus 27. It swaps to a minus on the right. Let's tidy up. 3x take 2x is a single x, and then negative 2 with negative 27, be careful, it's not a positive, minus 2, minus 27, army method, join forces, minus 29 is the answer. And there is the solution, x equals negative 29.